one of the most useful tools for editing NES, Famicom, and Nintendo computer games and software is YYCHR. YYCHR is a graphics editor. Before we start talking about making your own software, we can easily edit existing software. So if we drag Mario Brothers into YYCHR, you can see, as we talked about earlier, there are two main pages. We have this page here, which represents all of the sprites or movable images, like Mario. If we flip down one page using this blue button, we get down to the second page, which is the non-movable images. So again, here we see the bottom half of a coin. The coin stays still in Mario Brothers. This is the background data. We also see parts of the clouds here, if you're very familiar with the game like I am, and the text. So this is all the non-moving images, images on the screen. Here are all the sprites removable images. And if you're curi curious, we're all the way at the bottom. If you look up here at all this garbled data, this is actually all the game's code. But of course, we're not going to be editing any of that in this graphics editor because we would just make the game inoperable. We're worried about editing the graphics. And again, the good thing about editing graphics is that early games had two chips only. The program chip on one side and the graphics data on the other. So we can edit the graphics data without affecting the program code. And if you haven't figured it out, what that means is we edit some of these graphics save this, play the game, the game is going to look different. So one of the easiest things we can do is take a look here. If we look at these two, uh, these two tiles here, followed by these two tiles here, we can see this makes up the Goomba, or a very popular enemy in Mario Brothers. And again, we can go like this. By um, right-clicking, we can hold and select more than one tile. We go up here and go to Copy. We can go over here and paste it. And as you can see, if we so if we edit this tile here, his eyes, and if we edit this bottom part where his feet are, those will appear directly in the game. So we see here that this is our first selected palette. We can change through all these different palettes, but it won't actually change the colors in the game. The game itself sets the palette. All we're doing here is changing the data. So it's almost as if like we're creating the art and the computer or the, uh, the NES itself is setting the palette. So now that we know that, we can pick some of these options. They're just like options you'd see in your paint program. Here we have a pencil. Uh, we have a, uh, a pencil that just makes a kind of pattern. We have lines. We have squares. We have a pattern square um, and more shapes in the fill, just as you can see. And when you mouse over all of these, they do show up, as you can see right here in this information window. So we'll just go with the pencil, or the pen as it's called here. And you can click any of these four colors because we're just working with this palette. As I said, it can be this palette. It can be any one that's easier to see. This palette is particularly easy to see because it's not black and white. So we can see some difference here in the bottom of the Goomba and here at the top of it. So let's do this. Let's take um, his eyebrows here. As you can see, he has a particularly nasty look on his face. We can get rid of that pretty easily. Click on the white. This is the color of the rest of the Goomba. We're on the pen here. What we can just do is get rid of his eyebrows. So now you see we've edited him slightly. And if we would take this part and again copy it, paste it here, see that the Goomba now looks kind of like this. So now we can we can um, see how he looks here with the bottom on him. We can see he does maybe could use some more eyes. So we'll go down here to the orange, click here. Actually, you know what, before we do this, we should probably go back and undo put his feet back in the right place, as I said earlier. Let's go back here then and continue to edit his eyes. Right click also selects the color. So if you click here with the, um, the right mouse button, it'll select the white. Right click here on the red, it selects the current color. Give him some eyes here. And before he had rather mean eyebrows, now we can uh, make him look a little bit different. Just give him some straight lines. Now he looks surprised. Now, 
So we go up here and we click Save. Minimize this. Double click on Mario, the ROM that we just edited. And pull it open. Let's just watch the demo mode. Because as you know, maybe Mario will go right through. Demo mode, if we don't click anything, in a minute we'll see the Goombas. And we'll notice that they change based on our thing. So now you can see the Goombas look completely different. They look so surprised instead of angry. And um, this is really easy to do because all you did was just change the sprite. Again, the eyes look a lot different here, as you can see, and that's because of what you edited. So let's close this, exit, go back to it, YYCHR. So now we've edited some sprites. Let's go down one page because I said the second page is where the background data is. So one thing we all know probably about Mario's coins. Just like the Goomba here, we see the top half of the coin and the bottom half of the coin. And again, if you're unsure of how things look, right-click and select. Go to Cut. Go to here. Go to Paste. Move it over. There we know that is definitely the full coin that we remember from the game. We're going to undo that, of course, get it back to where it is, but we can edit this. So. Take a look at the top half of the coin here. There we go. We get a better view of it. And the bottom half of the coin here. Let's figure out what we can do to that. So the coin is pretty small. It's pretty thin. But uh, one thing we could do is maybe add another color on the outside, another outline, just to make it a little bigger. won't be pretty, but it can happen. So we'll click here in the orange and just kind of draw around the outside. Give it one more outline of white. Again, it's pretty easy. And remember, the best part about editing this is that you're not actually changing the data of the game, the way the program code works. All you're changing is the graphics. Let's go back and do the bottom half. We'll give it an orange outline. And a white outline as well. Let's see if there's any other changes that we could make. No, that should be a pretty noticeable difference. So we'll go to save. So again, right here, this line that you see are the clouds. So we're going to go through with this fill tool and paste them all white. Remember, this white doesn't really isn't really white in the game. It is the color that the palette decides. So, gone through here and made the clouds a different color. And we will load them up. Mario Brothers. Notice right away that the ground is different. That's because if you didn't notice before, the ground Mario was actually made up of the same clouds. And here you can see the clouds are black as well as the ground is a different color. So you can see that your choices that you make will change the game dramatically from the way the enemies look to the way the clouds look. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is open up YYCHR. When you open it up, you'll see blanks here, maybe the startup screen. Drag your ROM in. Best part about it, it usually seeks or finds the graphics data right away. Once you see the graphics data, start editing just like you've done before with other paint programs, and you can do a hack of a game that easily. So try this out on your own, and I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun.